Hello, welcome back to another beer review and in this one we're off to London. We are off to the London Beer Factory. I had to read that because I didn't recognise this can. I'm not used to seeing that type of can associated with London Beer Factory. but Anyway, um, we got their big milk stout boys and girls. There you go, super smashing great. There you go. It is 7.5%. It is a vanilla and cocoa nib imperial stout. There you go. Give it a twist for you. There you go. Quite a nice looking can, I'll be honest with you. Um, London Beer Factory is an open ex exploration of beer, journey into its shared moments and enjoyment, modern and independent, crafting progressive beer since 2014 from our home in South London. Um, Big Milk Stout is a Madagascan vanilla cocoa nibs lender luxurious flavour profile to the Big Milk Stout. Brewed with lactose for a rich creamy body, this stout stands last as a modern global interpretation. Filler notes, vanilla notes, filler notes, vanilla notes give way to cocoa nib pipe with plenty of roasted, no I'm not going to go into that. Um, of course 7.5% ABV. A low, uh, Maltese low, cu low colour marisotta, oats crystal, roasted barley and chocolate, hops of magnum, yeast is BRY. Dash 97 additions or adjuncts vanilla and cocoa nibs. So there you go. Let's crack this open. I don't like opening these cans, big cans with that 360. It could go anywhere, but I'll just excuse me for a minute while I open this one. There you go. Tin of tuna time. Aroma. Yeah, it, it, it's not giving off much to be honest. It's you do get a hint of maybe molasses to it. So a hint of roastness, but you're not getting much from that. I've got to try and pull this out without causing a mess, you know. That's what I don't like about these 360 big cans. I really don't. I'm not a fan. Can't pour a decent... Look at that. Can't pour a decent... Look at that. Can't pour a decent glass out when you've got a flipping opening like that. Because that is filled to the brim. They obviously do it because, you know, the canning line they have, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I'll let that settle for a minute. Leave that there, like you do. So, beer in a glass, boys and girls. Because of that ring, um, it's like that. <laughs> like you do. The aroma. Again, it's... I don't know, it's not really... It smells a little bit, dare I say, a little bit thin. It it it's, it smells like a like a a thin porter actually in a way. If that makes sense, it's yeah. Do I pick up any chocolate, or anything like that, any aroma? No. Slight hint of yeah. It's more roasty note than anything else. I'm just gonna see if I can whack that in. Even more. So I'm gonna go in anyway. Cheers. Just pour that in. It's all in there now, anyway. Right. I'm going again. Well, first off, the body of the beer, very thin for me. Um, it's really thin. I've never thought I would get something of that strength and it feels feels really thin. It does. Um, the taste. Sign of roastness on the front end. You gain the bitterness of plain chocolate, a subtle bitterness of plain chocolate on the back end. I'll be honest. I'm not really getting anything. Um, 
I mean, hand on heart, I'm a big fan of London Beer Factory. Um, most of their beers I've got, I've had, I really liked, but it's not a beer I'll buy again. It, it really isn't. It just feels so thin for me. Um, I mean, for me, it says imperial stout. For, for me, an imperial, an imperial stout is is stronger than seven point five percent. For me, an imperial stout should be up towards the ten mark. That's a proper imperial stout, you know, a proper strong stout. This just feels like a very very weak porter to me. It feels like a porter, three point eight percent, and feels. Like that, it doesn't feel it's milk stout. Do I feel any lactose in this? That for me, there is a trace of that in this beer. There's a slight trace, there's not a lot else to it. Um, I'll be honest, I'm very disappointed in this. I, I, you know, some people might like it, but for me personally, this is a very disappointing beer. Um, and I'm sure, um, some people out there might like it, but I was expecting more from this, um, and it's not giving it. It's, it's, it just feels very weak, very watery, very thin, and you want something big, bold, strong, and it's not. It's, it hasn't got it for me. It really hasn't. Um, I'm not going to slag off the brewery, because I have done some great stuff, and um, for me... Nah, boys and girls, it doesn't do it. It misses the mark completely. Misses the mark completely. Um, say no more. Uh, thank you very much for watching this beer review. Please subscribe. Mind them in the comments. See you all of you in the next one. Cheers.